This seascape is by Arthur Merrick Boyd. It is titled Waiting for the Tide, painted in 1894 and is part of the 2008 Alcoa of Australia bequest. This oil on canvas is filled with atmosphere. A quiet coastal scene of two fishermen waiting for the tide to come in on a seemingly hazy morning or evening. Boyd painted the light beautifully, with soft tones and delicate brush strokes. And look how he captured the reflection of the sky in the water. Boyd was born in 1862 in Dunedin, New Zealand, and was the son of Captain John Theodore Thomas Boyd and Lucy Charlotte Martin. He was an important artist of the Federation period. He was also the founder of one of Australia's famous artistic dynasties and the grandfather of well-known artist Arthur Boyd. He moved with his parents to Australia in the mid-1870s. At some stage, Boyd studied to become an engineer, but instead he became a traditional landscape painter who was affiliated with the Heidelberg School. He was friendly with artists like McCubbin and Phillips Fox, but did not associate much with other artists. Boyd married Emma Minnie A. Beckett, who was also an accomplished artist, and they settled in Brighton. Some art critics even said that her art was of more superior quality than Boyd's. They both came from wealthy families and lived the life of travelling and art. In 1890 they moved to England and lived for a while on a family property in Wiltshire. They both painted prolifically and both exhibited their art in the Royal Academy exhibition. They even lived in Paris for a while before returning to Australia at the end of 1893. They moved to Melbourne where Boyd regularly exhibited with the Victorian Art Society. His many travels to Tasmania provided much of his inspiration for his landscapes. Boyd later moved to the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria, where he lived for the rest of his life. They had five children. All were encouraged by their parents to take up an interest in the arts. Their son Merrick became a well-known Australian potter. After his wife died in 1936, Boyd moved to Rosebud in the Morning Peninsula, where he gave painting lessons to his grandson Arthur. Boyd died in Melbourne on the 30th of July in 1940.